Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Patrick, and welcome to my guide to quest What Lies Below on Old School RuneScape. If you do this on RuneScape 3, I have a guide for that as well. Link description below. On screen right now is everything you need to repair yourself for this quest. The green text is what you actually need, and the white text just explains where to get everything for the Iron Men as well as recommended items. Only thing I want to explain here is access to the Chaos Altar for rune crafting. You need to make it to the actual altar where you craft the runes. You can get there either through the Abyss, which requires completion of the Enter the Abyss mini quest, or through through the Ton of Chaos, which requires a Chaos Talisman or Tiara, and the Abyss does not. If you're an Iron Man and don't already have a Chaos Talisman, I would recommend using the Abyss, even if you have to do the mini quest, because that only takes about five minutes. In my opinion, it's way easier than trying to get a Chaos Talisman. I have a video on the mini quest, which I'll link in the description below. These methods will be shown in the video as well if you don't know how to do them. Anyways, feel free to pause this if you want to take a better look as I'm going to get into the guide now. This video is brought to you by the awesome members of my Patreon. If you want access to some exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video, everyone. To start the quest, go to the crossroads between Varrock, Lumbridge, and Alcarid, shown by a yellow marker on this map. You can get near there using a combat bracelet or Chronicles of Champions Guild or Varrock Teleport. Speak to Rat Burgess, then select options 3 and 1 to receive an empty folder. Go this area between Edgeville and the Grand Exchange, shown by a yellow marker on this map. You can get near there using an Amulet Glory to Edgeville, Ring of Wealth to Grand Exchange, or Combat Bracelet to Monastery. When you get here, you have to kill any five outlaws, and each one of them will drop an item called Rat's Paper. You need to pick up five of these and put them in the folder that Rat gave you. You can use Protect from Melee against them to prevent some damage. After getting the five papers and putting them in the folder, the folder should look like it's closed, then go back to Rat. Speak to Rat. Go to the Varric Palace Library. You can get a bit closer there using a Varric Teleport, Ring Wolf to Grand Exchange, or Skills Necklace to Cook and Guild. Speak to Sorak Magus and select option 1. Go on then, you'll receive a diary and a wand. Flip through the Sinkith diary that he gave you. After this, you're going to have to go to the Chaos Room Crafting Altar. And as I said in the beginning, I'm going to show you different methods on how to get there. I'm first going to show you how to get there using the Abyss. I would recommend this if you can't get a Cast Talisman. You would need to do the Enter the Abyss mini quest first, but that only takes about five minutes. Assuming you have already completed the mini quest, you first go to this area in the wilderness just a bit north of Edgeville. Right click the Mage of Zamorak and choose Teleport to go there. Go around the Abyss and look for traps that you can pass, like the eyes, the gaps, the rocks etc uh, just click on one of those to get through and if you're failing at it just keep clicking on it to keep trying when you do get inside the portal to the chaos altar can be found to the north it's called a chaos rift the next method I really only recommend if you could get or already have a chaos talisman but was too lazy to do the mini quest go to this area northeast of Iraq shown by a yellow marker you can get near there using a lumberyard teleport otherwise just run straight there there'll be a statue here with an option to excavate so do that to create a hole in it 
enter the open statue, follow the tunnel north all the way to the end, enter the portal, and you'll be within the area of the chaos altar. Now, this isn't like other altars if you've never been here before, because you have to go through a maze to get to it. Just find a ladder that gives you an option to climb down, zoom out a bit if you have to. If you click on there, your character will find a correct path on its own. I went towards the ladder to the northwest, by the way. Once you get to the ladder, climb down and go towards the altar in the center. Regardless of how you got to the altar, once you're here, use the wand on the altar to infuse it with your 15 chaos runes. Go back to Varric Palace Library. Speak to Sorok Magis and select option 1. I have the things you wanted. Head back to Rat Burgess. Speak to Rat, then select option 1. Yes, I have a letter for you. Go to Zaf in the staff shop near the center of Varrock. Speak to Zaf and select option 4. Rat Burgess sent me to receive a beacon ring in Zaf's instructions. Head back to Varric Palace Library. Speak to Srak Magis and select option 1, bring it on. You get a cutscene and get into a fight with the king. Fight the king until he's down to about 1 HP. Don't worry, they won't let you kill him. He is the king after all. When he's down to 1 HP, right click your beacon ring and choose summon to get another cutscene. If you can't tell how much HP he has, it'll also tell you in your chat box. Now would be a good time to summon Zaf. You can also use protect from melee against him to block all damage. Once all that is over, go back to Rat. Speak to Rat Burgess and you get options whether you want to complete the quest and gain experience because this quest does give 2000 defense XP. So I'm assuming they have this warning in here for peers. You can do whatever you want with that, but this is the last step of the quest. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. There are also links in the description below for my Patreon, donation link, Twitter, and Discord where you can interact with me. Donations can also be directly made through YouTube now. Thanks option near like button below the video. Catch you later. Peace.